mostly quiet. Filament release bottom right was the filament we saw heading off away from Earth yesterday. Otherwise, no eruptions in this direction and coronal holes dominating the south. Solar wind is still calm. In fact, solar wind speed is bottoming out under 300 kilometers per second, which is relatively anemic. There's been no impact yet, and that means we can look at NOAA's forecast and say it was incorrect. NASA is still forecasting the impacts to occur later today and into tomorrow, and again, forecast to be weak with only moderate auroral enhancement. Taking a look at the GOES view of geo color and lightning overlay, bit of a warm up underway in the United States, but the wonky jet stream patterns continue. Another dip incoming here, bringing more snow and cold in a couple days. Without the northern vortex adding to the situation, it won't be record cold. As the northern vortex breaks down, the south is gearing up to hit its strong season here in the next month or two. We are off to Antarctica, where new radar imaging is taking their ability to scope fine detail at Antarctica to a new level. This is, of course, important for the elite so they can pick a good spot when the new age begins and this continent is... um latitudinally shifted, so to speak. Seriously, though, it is quite impressive how good the technology is getting, even if it is focused somewhere nobody lives. Up next.